following is a short presentation to show solid edge synchronous technology to families of parts and uh, families of assemblies to be used to uh, capture design intent and um, basically what we're going to do is we've got a family of parts already set up for this tire so we've got a large medium and small tire and then we're going to extend that so that this bracket gets larger to accommodate the different tire sizes keeping uh, everything in position correct and an FOA to tie all the pieces. In order to prepare for the presentation I've got um, there's a directory on your um, your DVD, FOA, FOPs, and there's a handful of components in there. You're going to want to copy and paste those components from the DVD into where your actual SC files folder is. To do the presentation, what I would recommend is that you, you want to start in the, the frame assembly so that you can explain the design challenge. And I'm going to do a file open where I've already got in my list here uh, ASM 03-00700. This assembly is essentially a copy of uh, this caster assembly, except for I've already started to create this into a family of parts. Now here, first thing you see is that I've already the wheel is a FOP, so you want to right-click on this and go to replace and show your, your prospective customer what a family of parts looks like inside of the model. So I'll change this from large to small. I can see that the small tires is grabbed and vice versa. Let's go back and leave it at medium. Okay. So that pretty much shows that the concept of that once I've created a family of parts that I can switch from one to the other. Now as I change this diameter the tire is going to lift up so I need this bracket to get larger. So to compensate for that, I'm going to go through and create a family of parts of this bracket. To do so, right click and open the part inside of Solid Edge. So this bracket, this feature, I've already named a uh, dimension as, um, as height. So I'm going to use that to drive my family of parts. So simply all I need to do is go to the FOP option and I'm going to go to Edit Table which allows me to do all of my work from a table. I can also do this from the, uh, the Pathfinder. So the bracket's going to the initial size is actually small. We're going to be making it larger. So I'll create a new member name, small. And I'll create another one called medium. And I'll create a third large. You do want to use these names um, because the bat file is actually going to be looking for these files to delete them to reset the uh, the demo. However, you can modify the, the bat file or delete them manually. And if I scroll down once I've created these, here is the parameter that I've renamed to height. So the small one will remain at 180 millimeter. And since we're dropping the tire size by diameter at 30 millimeter we're going to make this bracket 15 millimeter for each increment so the next one will be 195 and the third will be 210 here are all parameters that are inside of the parts show up inside of here so they can modify as many or a few as I need but you also should present here that my features let's make this a little smaller any features in the model also display. So I've got this normal cutout which is a clearance for the, um, in this case it would be the small bracket when the, it's close to the tire. But as it gets larger it's not necessary. So I'm going to suppress the cutout and the fillet for both the medium and large brackets. And we'll say OK. Now if I want to see my changes I can just select them from here. and apply. In order for this family of part to be usable inside of the assembly, what I want to do is I'm going to select all members because I'd like to populate these. So yes, the file needs to be saved, that is okay. And all three members will be populated, that is correct. This will take just a moment as it generates the components and sets up links. And my FOP is now completed and populated on the hard drive. So, enclose this part.
which returns me back to my assembly. So what have I accomplished? Here if I go to my tire and I want to replace this to say the small tire. The small tire should be using the large bracket. If I send the tire to replace to the large tire then I should now be using the small bracket. Great, so now I've captured the, the design intent at the part level and I can swap those as necessary. But I have a very specific design intent here where the small tire must go to the large bracket. The large bracket must go to the small tire. I can also capture that information by setting up a family of assemblies. So I'll go to alternate assemblies and I'm going to tell it new. File needs to be saved, which is okay. I have two choices of alternate assemblies. I can create a family of assemblies, which we will go through, or alternate positions, which would be like a air cylinder that's in an open or closed state. So there will be a small tire. A medium tire. Let's hold it OK. And I'm going to go to Edit Table. And I'm going to create a large tire. Now, just like with the family of parts, I can work from inside of this state and set all of the information. But on my FOA, I'm going to choose to work from here. So let's start with the large tire, which I believe this is already on a large tire. What else I need to do is make it active. That's already on large, and it uses a small bracket. So large tire is correct. If I go to medium tire, and a medium tire, then I want to have a medium tire. and I want to have a medium bracket. And I simply need to go to the next configuration of small tire, set this right to the correct tire, replace the bracket to the large bracket. And I've now defined all three configurations. Once this is running the way that I want it, my family of assemblies is complete, I will close this and go ahead and let this save to the hard disk. This brings me back to my frame assembly, and from the frame assembly, we've moved right to the top our two uh, caster assemblies, the existing being um, 019. So I'm going to replace the existing with the ASM 03-00700 that we just uh, modified. When this replaces, I want to replace all occurrences. And let's send this to our small tire. When my FOA loads, I get the small tire, the large bracket, and the appropriate features. Send this to large tire. And you can see here again, everything updates.